Why hello there. I didn't expect you. What's going on guys? Oh, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. Am I stuck? Do you walk? I'm broken. I'm uh, 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 uh. Sheet fly. There we go. What's going on, guys? That, that's not the right button. What's going on, guys? Blood Eagle here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the Scorched Lands, Scorched Earth, single player. I'm going to do a highlight video for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. We're going to jump right into this. I just wanted to uh, show you exactly what's in this update because they have a whole bunch of dinos and uh, like 50 plus items. And I'm going to show you guys all of it right now. So starting off, we have... A, a lot of a lot of stuff uh, this is the Adobe Photoshop uh, and Adobe After Effects um, yeah this is all 3d um, these this is the uh, new structures so these are the found uh, fences uh, this is the actual inside of the structure you know we have the door or the window we have the door they actually have this and it's a mirror but it's like for some reason it doesn't really work I don't know, like you can kind of see yourself, like yeah, you can kind of see my foot right there. I don't know, they're not that work, they, they don't work that well, in my opinion, uh, from experience. Uh, we have this vessel, and I actually don't, oh, it's, it's like for salts and stuff, but it, it, it's cool just for sitting there. Um, we have the slopes, uh, this, Josh, we'll get to you in a second. Uh, we have the roofing. We have the spiral staircase. We have the ladder over here. Let's see if I can do this without falling off. Uh, we can climb up on the ladder, which is like made out of rocks and driftwood. Kind of. I don't know. It looks weird. Made out of rocks. This is the pillar. And right here we have the Manticore trophy. I just decided to put it here because... Uh, it looked cool. And this is also the Manticore flag. And that's sick looking. That is, oh, uh, that, that's going to, I'm making that my Twitter profile right there. Um, up next, we have the Dinosaur Gateway. Um, it looks nice. The Behemoth Gateway, though. It's like a larger form of that. But, I don't know. It, it looks better, in my opinion. Then we have the intro, the tent. As you guys saw it, the tent um, is broken because uh, the dragon landed on it. But um, the tent is used, as you can see, we have a buff um, for insulation. Jerboa, please tell me you didn't do that. Okay, good boy. Thought he was calling a storm. Right here, if we look up, that's the new uh, trapdoor. So if I cheat fly, you can see right here, this is a giant trapdoor. I'm assuming they made this for the dragons, um, but I decided to put it up all the way up there. Don't know why. Um, we have some new items here, but I'm going to get to this real quick. This is the windmill that will be used for generating electricity now. Um, you can, there's like no options aside from demolish. Um, so you can, I'm assuming hook up electrical cables and, uh, use that for your light source and everything and all of your electric, ele electric needs. So in here we have new items for some reason, like when I hover over stuff while in another inventory, it doesn't work. Um, but this is propellant. I'm assuming this is for... The flamethrower, this is salt, this is sand, this is silk, this is clay, I think. Yeah, that's sulfur. I'm, I'm assuming that's for... Wait. When did I get in you? Oh, okay. There we go. Let me just do this real quick. I'm going to throw all this away. 
Don't need you, don't need you. I'm just gonna take all, and we're gonna read it. So we have the propellant, we have the salt, we have the sand, silt, clay, sulfur. This is the new plant species Y. Um, this is the oil pump. Unfortunately, I'm not. I wasn't able to fi uh, find an oil zone, which is what it's you know says right there. Um, but it's just like kind of like a tar pit looking. Um, when you kill the manticore, these are the things you get: the trophy, the manticore flag, and you get the shield skin, which I haven't put on a shield, and it looks sick. We're gonna put that there. Up next, we have all of this stuff. Um, we have uh, the camel source, which is actually the melon top. Uh, you get deathworm spike. Uh, that was in the spawn list, and I'm not exactly sure how to get that. Um, I'm assuming you get that from the uh, from the um, the lizard dragon. Uh, then you have mantis egg, mantis kibble, moth egg, moth kibble. You have thorny dragon and thorny dragon kibble. Now this is interesting. Vulture egg. And look at this. It says this pet food recipe. Like these are both kibble for vulture eggs. As you can see. They're, they have different uh, descriptions. This, pe this pet food recipe has been carefully designed to give balanced nutrition to almost any creature native to the island. Including p plant, f uh, includes plant fibers to help the digestion and egg to bind the mix. You meant to have difficulty and it's yada yada yada. And then this one says, This pet food recipe has been carefully balanced to give balanced nutrition to almost any creature native to the island. Includes the best protein plant fibers to help with digestion. The egg to bind the mix. So, this one has protein? I, I'm a, I, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming they're the same thing and maybe they just accidentally put in two of the same kibble. Um, but I just found that interesting. Maybe once for island creatures because it does say island. Um, but I'm not too sure. Up next we have weapon and armor. So we have uh, the goggles and hat which is right here. We have the cloth which is pretty cool. It only has like uh, like the cape things going up one arm and then it has the, uh, the clothing on one arm. Uh, then we have the gloves, which are pretty, pretty badass. As you can see, wait, no, 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 hey, can't grab them. Here we go. As you can see, it looks like a biker's glove. And then we have the pants, which uh, aren't really that, you know, eh. And then we have the boots, which are also like hiking boots. Um, next we have the boomerang, which is like really awesome. I'm just going to put this stuff right here. We have the boomerang, which when you left click, it just like, it's like a melee hit. But if you right click, you can throw it. And if it hits like a structure that's not yours, it'll uh, do damage. And I believe... Um, recently they added, like, if you hit a dino, it does, like, a red cross here. You'll see that in my, uh, on my Pooping Vol video. Um, next we have the chainsaw, and I don't have any ammo for it. Actually. Do we not have any ammo? No ammo. What does it take? Maybe gasoline? I will be right back. We're gonna grab some gasoline. One six four one one zero. Okay, so now it's showing that I have. Okay, okay. I'll give this a shot. Oh God. Okay. So it uses about 20% per tree, but it gives you quite a bit. That's pretty cool. Plus it just sounds... Dowie. Dowie. Doesn't do that much damage. 
Hardly any damage. No damage. That's pretty cool. That's the chainsaw. We don't know that. One sec. Up next, we have the oil jar, which you can, I believe, throw down. Right there. And it does like a black sludge. Because I have infinite stats on. It just uh, does that. Um, we also have a flamethrower. I think I'm getting ahead of myself though. We have a cluster bomb. No, five. And... Please don't tell me you destroyed stuff. So it blows up and then it has a radius effect where it rains down on stuff. I mean, that made me nervous. And then he goes around and blows stuff up. That's pretty cool. Up next we have a flamethrower and that's what we'll use for this. Is we'll just... That stuff catches on fire. And that's really cool if you have a whole bunch of those around, um, around a house, as you saw in the uh, in the trailer. The guy walks out of the building and uh, tries to walk through the fire and immediately gets set on fire. But uh, they're still burning. Thought that was water. Yep, that's flamethrower ammo. Up next, we have the homing, uh, the rocket homing missile. Uh, this was recently added, and it you, uh, works with the uh, Ascendant rocket launcher. And I just so happen to have one of those. Are there any unsuspecting dinos? It's really hot in the day. Jeez. That time of day. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Pull it down a little bit. I think we have a visitor. Where'd he go? There he is. So, go like this, you pull it out. Too far away. Is there anything close? Yep, the manticore despawn. Let's see. There's a the guy right there. Pull it out. Supposed to be lock on. Come on. There we go. And uh See with the radio, uh, the how far away? I don't know if you have to pull it out and pull it back in, but that's how it worked. Okay, that is a very short range. Maybe it's just maybe it's all these uh, bushes. So, so let's fly him back up a little bit. Okay, so yeah. So it does have a pretty good range. If you can hold it in the range. Boom. And then you just see I have infinite stats on. This is a reload. I like that. I like that a lot. And kaboom. So yeah, that's the uh that's the rocket launcher with the homing missile. Cheat lock. One more thing I forgot to show off. Um uh the oil thing that I showed you. Uh there is there are water, um, 
wa like water things too. Um, wells, and you can uh, put these wells on top of them, and they just fill up with water, and you can uh, access it and get water. You can also drink from it, which is pretty cool. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for all the structures and stuff. Let me make sure. Yep, that's all the structures and stuff. Um, the last thing to show you is the whip. I totally wasn't using it to uh, destroy all the bushes earlier. Uh, but that's uh, one of the key features is, is you can whack uh, bushes with it. You can whack the cactus with it. And it'll collect the cactus. You can whip these tiny rocks. And it'll collect it for you. And there's also these tiny bushes that give you uh, silk. And you can also whip those. I don't see any. If there were any around, I'd hit them for you. But uh, yeah, now I'm going to talk about the dinos. The uh, dino slash creatures that uh, came into the update. Another awesome feature that uh, came in this update is NVIDIA has something called NVIDIA Ansel or Hansel. I don't know what to call it. A-N-S-E-L. It's really amazing. All you have to do while in it, uh, you can hit Alt F2 and it'll um, it'll kind of allow you to take screenshots. Um, 360, uh, high resolution, like zoom in. It's really amazing. Uh, you can uh, you can change the f uh, filters. The, they have like custom ones that you can do, or you can do one yourself, which is like contrast, brightness, uh, levels of color. It's really amazing. You can do a lot with this. It's pretty cool. Uh, super high resolution. The max you can get is like a 30 gigabyte file, which is like extremely like oh my god, but it's so worth it because it's like such a zoom in. It's really amazing. I. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. You can only access it in single player, um, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's like if it pauses the game. So you like, you know, w when you do that uh, in multiplayer, like, it, you know, it'd be kind of cheaty, you know, shift uh, all F2. And then, you know, the whole server freezes because uh, you're trying to take a screenshot. But it can only be done in single player. Uh, which is downside and a plus side, but it's really cool. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. That's how I'm making the screenshot. Uh, no Photoshop needed, just minor ones like text and stuff, uh, touch-ups, but it's really cool. I highly suggest you guys try that. You have to launch it with, uh, you can set the launch parameters to be like allow Ansel, or you can launch the game as uh, uh, with NVIDIA Ansel. Um, that's what I'm going to call it now, Ansel. Um, but yeah, uh, time for the dinos. Up next, we have all the dinos. I'm recording this in, in uh, I'm stuck. I'm recording this in advance because the manticore likes to despawn for some reason. But, uh, right now we have the Jaboa, which is like the most adorable thing in the world. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, it's so adorable. It reminds me of a chinchilla. Just, uh, hit E to pick him up. And he sits on your shoulder. Now, vultures do the same thing. You hit E, and you can wear them. Or, th th they sit on you. You can wear them. You can kill them and wear them. But you just hit F to throw them. And then we have the Lamentria. I thought I just heard the Manticore despawn. Um, these can be ridden. Uh, they don't have the best of stats. You can see this is level 116. Uh, this is the Mantis. It's pretty cool. Uh, right now it's holding torches. I don't know what else it can hold, but I, in the trailer it was holding uh, torches, so I made it hold torches. This is the Thorny Dragon. Um, uh, this is kind of like the giant uh, bearded lizard. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember, but it, it's just, it's adorable looking. It, it's so deadly because it's like a aggressive, but that face. And then we have the melon tops. Uh, they're, more, they're the Morella tops, but they're the melon tops. 
because they hold water. And then we have this bad boy. This is the rock elemental, and I'm going to show you a video right now. Um, the rock elemental is very difficult to see. I'm assuming that it blends in with its uh, environment. So, like, right now I'm in this open a desert area, and it uh, kind of just disappeared. Like, you, you wouldn't even think it's right there because it blended in so well. And then it, all of a sudden I turned off players only, and it uh, just broke apart all those rocks and uh, appeared. They are aggressive if you get near them, um, and the only way to really damage them is explosives or armor piercing, and that's very hard to come by, so the best thing to do when you see these is run, because they're slow. So hope that you uh, can get away and then warn your fellow survivors that it's there. Um, up next, we have the Manticore, and... Uh, I, 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 I don't know what to say about it. For some reason, um, it may be just me or, or whatnot. Uh, maybe just be my settings. I don't know. The Manticore looks broken. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that's just me or something. Because um, in the trailer, it was, you know, it looked, you know, fixed and everything. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know. It, lo it looks funny, but it's also like. You're only going to see this uh, if and when you do the uh, the boss raid. Um, and I wanted to do this guy last because uh, this is what everybody was talking about. The dragon. Beautiful looking. Very detailed. And if you ride it, it has three attacks. Fly up. First off, we have the bite attack. Then we have the breath. And if we land, I believe it's only if we land, you can hit C and it will do wing attacks. Now I don't know if you can do that while in the air. Let's try. Oh, it does like a, that grabbing. Oh, it looks like it grabs stuff. Okay. So it looks like it can grab. Come on. Just want to land. But yeah, those are the dinos. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that's what you have to look for in this uh, update. In this uh, expansion. It's really interesting. Um, it's definitely something different. Um, you know, it's still Ark, but it has like a vastly different feel to it. And uh, I'm going to play on it for a little bit. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Comment down below. What are you guys most excited for in this uh, expansion? Are, uh, what are you going to do um, first? Are you, are you going to make an army of vultures or jerboas or melon tops? Are you going to go and try and destroy a rock elemental? Are you going to try and level up and everything so you can go after the manticore? Or is your end game the dragon? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you later.